I've been living in Brisbane City for a year and a bit now, and it's very clear at this point living here that the city is is very broken, um, incredibly broken. Uh, in many ways that I'm, I'm not going to go into today, but I mean, to list a few, public transport, housing, Olympic Games, government organization, uh, there's a lot, there's, there's so many things, flood control, but the thing that I want to focus on today is the homeless problem in Brisbane and then the lack of support, therefore, for homeless people in Brisbane. I work in Fortitude Valley and so I, I tend to go back and forward from Central Station to Fortitude Valley Station, get off, walk through Fortitude Valley and kind of get to my workspace. And something that I've noticed over the last year and a bit is how many rough sleepers we have here in the city, how many people we have that are desperately grabbing onto all that they can hold um, and not getting much support. And I think that one of the things that I've noticed recently is the city's lack of support uh, and the lack of effort that the city puts into supporting these people. One thing that I'm going to point off right off the bat is they make it very hard for rough sleepers to actually sleep anywhere. Um, a lot of these benches that uh, are newer are created uh, to be kind of sleep proof or homeless proof and it's disgusting and it, it makes me mad. It is gross. I mean if I turn the camera and kind of I don't know if you can see on the ledging there, you'll see metal spikes and they're kind of they're kind of all around on multiple benches, multiple things like that, uh, to prevent people from sleeping on them. You're getting skinnier benches, smaller benches, you're getting uh, places being boarded off. I recently walked past a place where like it was undercover and it was kind of a warm little cul-de-sac that most people slept in in the valley near that uh, rundown convenience store. Uh, they just boarded that up and the, the worst part about it was I watched them put the tin up and people's stuff was was still inside like some rough sleepers sleeping bag and and items which by the way they've already had everything taken from them surely you have a little bit more humanity than to board their remaining items in there it was just it was just getting closed in and that made me really really mad and, and kind of prompted this video I've been trying to plan how to make this video for a while, I'm popped up outside of uh, City City Hall, kind of making this video. It's it's like seven o'clock at night, and I just wanted to talk about it and and ways that we need to support it. I think one thing that annoys me the most is how much money this this current uh, city's government has spent on things that we don't need. Realistically, we just we just don't need the Olympic Games. They're spending a billion dollars. Yes, a billion. I'm not uh, exaggerating. A billion dollars on rebuilding the Gabba Stadium instead of just using a sporting venue that already exists that would fit the Olympic Games in it. And they're doing all of this and demolishing the Gabba and demolishing a local school nearby or pretending like they're not. Um, and and all of that money out of, out of everything out of the out of the city's budget. They only donate a million dollars a year to homeless connect and homeless re like rehome pathways. It goes beyond that though. It's it, this this problem isn't going to stop. You're not going to have less homeless people. We are on a path at the moment where we're going to have more homeless people. Housing in this country, let alone this state, let alone this city, is incredibly expensive and incredibly scarce. I think our rental uh, capacity was down to like s s something stupid. I'll put the statistic up here. But how does our, our city officials, how do our, our local government members, how do our uh, state government members expect this issue to, to Greece? How do they expect this issue to be prevented if they're not willing to put the time and the money into prevention? <laughs> you know, like you can't just, you can't just not pay attention to something. At the moment, you know, you have families of, of five, six cramming themselves into places. Everybody is broke because of COVID. And yes, the government is also broke because of COVID, but they're the government. They have they have money. They just, you're not, they're pretending like they don't have money. If they can spend a billion dollars on, on demolishing a stadium, they can spend a little bit more on homing, home pathways and they can spend a little bit more on housing security. We're on a rate at the moment where you've got people who are consistently becoming homeless, consistently being forced out of their home, they're struggling with rentals, they're struggling with landlords, people are losing their houses. 
and it seems like it's just going all unseen and it annoys me because at the moment currently these these people our rough sleepers in our city are treated so poorly what are they going to do when there's more there is no you know existent like there's there's not many programs to help these people there's not many shelters i know there's heart 4000 in the valley and micah which they try and find homes for people but they're extremely exhausted like they have so many people come to them there's only so much that they can do it's incredibly difficult for me to understand how this is an issue how our local government hasn't done more and and why they're doing things to to worse than that even you know I often think about the floods I, I used to walk I used to live in, in Milton and I used to walk the river um, home I used to I used to walk along there a lot and there was one guy who like slept on the river uh, on the on the bikeway not the most convenient spot but it was undercover it, it was convenience wise to food because the the, sh the truck that he needed stopped on the other side of the river so we just had to cross a bridge um, and you know, during the floods, that man, like, he, he has not been able to return to his spot for ages. And I, I don't know where he is. I hope that he's okay. I hope that he, he nothing horrible happened to him. But you see so many rough sleepers in the valley just cycle through it. And there's familiar faces. You know familiar faces. It shouldn't get to a point where I know familiar faces. I've been here for a year. If I'm seeing the same person on the streets at nighttime um, for a year, that's that's crazy to me to think about that like why can't we find this person a home why can't we give some more money to to services like Micah and Heart 4000 to to rehome these people Adrian Schrinner spent all of his money or most of his budget on the Greenbridge projects uh, he decreased council teams that were in place to help with homeless people to help with youth to help with homeless youth even um, he decreased those teams down to a tiny finite amount for some bridges that we didn't need we don't need bridges we've got enough bridges in Brisbane if you've ever seen a fucking map of Brisbane you know that there is enough bridges I don't know this this vlog this this video is is consistently this this video this vlog is kind of just dedicated to highlighting that problem and, and me not understanding why it still exists we have an incredibly beautiful city don't get me wrong it's, it's kind of weird here there's not a lot to do it seems like the government just puts their money in the weirdest fucking places. And, you know, they need to spend more money on things that matter. They need to spend more ho money on homing young families who are at risk of homelessness. They need to spend more money on homing homeless people. They need to spend more money on homeless prevention. That means more community housing. That means more affordable housing. That means subsidizing rent. That means subsidizing it. fucking houses. I don't know. I'm not a government official, but I think that there's things that they can do. And one thing that I would suggest that you guys do, one thing that you can do to help with this issue, with this cause, is be civil, be human. Realize that these are people. They have families. They have lives. They have stories. They have hearts. They have brains. They think. They breathe. They're human. You know, the disregard for, for homeless people always surprises me, or the, the uh, instant categorization of they must, they must be addicted, or they must uh, have done something bad annoys me and if you're a content creator don't film homeless people uh, for content that also frustrates me I didn't do that this time I got b-roll of the city and some places rough people sleep and, and some shots of things that council's doing that I don't agree with um, but I'd never feel comfortable filming someone for content especially the way that you fuckers do it stop making it like a fuck don't don't do an edit where you've put fucking Joji underneath fucking you giving a homeless guy a lot of cash. Just don't. If you want to do a nice thing, do a nice thing. Don't make it into content. Don't benefit off of it. It's weird. It makes me uncomfortable. And another thing that you can do really is is protest. Rally. Our, our local government is horrible and they always have been horrible. LNP governments in general are horrible. Our state government's not doing much either, so I can't really say anything good for Labour at the moment. Um, what do you do? The only people that I've ever seen concerned about this issue is, and, and it was it was Jonathan Shree. I'll, I'll give him that. Um, I'll, I'll put him in here. It was it was Jonathan Shree posting about council members 
moving along homeless people and finding them and that's another thing that fucking disgusts me is when I see a, a police officer or a council officer finding homeless people for sleeping like stop what the fuck how do you think they're gonna pay it you're just putting more unwanted stress unneeded stress onto them that's not there I guess the reason for making this video is I live in this city I love this city it's one of the best places I've ever lived in my life but also I've, I've lived in poverty I've never been homeless I've been mighty fucking close but when I was a kid there was a point in my life where my mom and my two sisters lived in a motel in split motel rooms for months because our uh, my mom's partner at the time decided that it was a good idea to leave us with nothing um, and I guess the other reason too is my mom has lived in poverty for quite a while also um, my mom lived in tents at one point with one of her partners and you know it shouldn't come to a point where people are, are sleeping that rough my mom messaged me last year and it was at a point where she couldn't find a house because of the rental crisis and she was buying things for her car to make it a livable space. She was buying uh, extendable tents from her car. It shouldn't be at that. It, we shouldn't be there. We're not, we're not a poor country. We're not a completely broken country but we're doing some completely broken fragmented things that don't make sense. And I think the only way to get change, the only way to seek change, the only way to make change is to rally against that, protest it, let your voice be heard. I think that our generation, our younger generation has done a great job at that, but I also think that it's, it's slipping away in the younger generations where you have kids who are more interested in their exterior personalities and I don't even know, they're just more interested in their little social media bubble than what's actually going on in the world and, and they're more interested in making content or laughing at these people instead of doing it. One notable disgusting thing that I've seen recently um, was when Louis Tomlinson performed at Fortitude Valley Music Hall. I watched six homeless people get fined and moved along. That's their home. They sleep there consistently. Just because a bunch of white girls want to go see Louis Tomlinson doesn't fucking mean that these people should be put in duress. I'm not saying that the people who went to Louis Tomlinson wanted this. I'm sure they didn't but it's fucking disgusting on the part of QPS and it's fucking disgusting on the part of council. Something needs to change. Something needs to be better. This isn't a Brisbane problem either. This is a fucking global problem. People are making things more difficult for everybody and it's, it's gross. It shouldn't be this way. Can we not just work together to fix the problem? Anyway, that's, that's today's vlog.